Hi, my name is Bill Millward. I'm with Netafim. And today we're here to explain how we change a normally closed hydrometer to normally open. First off, if you look at the device, a normally closed hydrometer will have a normally open solenoid. So we need to change that to a normally closed solenoid to make it normally open. The way we do that is we need to not only change this base, but also report two of the, the tubes on here. So we'll start by disassembling the solenoid and we'll take off this tube here and this tube here. These are the two tubes that we need to um, not only dismantle to get the base off of the, or the solenoid base off of there, but also two of the tubes that we need to uh, reposition. And so we'll take those apart. Take this little uh, 90 out of the top of the solenoid. Take the nut off the top of the solenoid. So as you lift the solenoid off, it's, in, it's important to remember to never take the solenoid off the post while there's power to the solenoid. That will damage and destroy this solenoid coil. Once you get this off, you now can twist this base off of here. And so we twist this base off. I would normally use a, an adjustable wrench or an open end wrench either seven six nine sixteenths for this nut or seven sixteenths for this nut but carrying one adjustable wrench will do both so that's my preferred tool take this off and now we're going to replace that with the base of the normally closed solenoid so we take this apart, taking the nut off. Using my adjustable wrench, I'm gonna take this little fitting out of here, which will go back into the uh, indicator selector like so. Important to note though, that you always want to re-teflon any of the threads that are going back into the device um, metal to metal should be always teflon and so we're going to put this back on we're going to get our new normally closed base and we're going to thread that back on there we want to make sure that we do this slowly and that we do not cross thread these things. If these things cross thread, we're in trouble. Okay. The big side of the solenoid always goes down, small side up. Slide that on. Put your nut back on. Thread our little 90. None of these plastic fittings um, need to have Teflon on them, plastic to um, metal. Don't need to have anything, but make sure that you thread this on straight. If you thread this on wrong, this plastic piece will um, strip or become cross-threaded pretty easily. So we're gonna put that on there. Okay, so now our new solenoid has been repositioned. All right, we've got the solenoid base on. We're gonna put this little plastic 90 back in to the back side of the uh, solenoid. And now we're gonna reposition two of the tubes that are on this device. The first one that we're gonna reposition that was at this 90 is, that is going into the port, the second port of the pressure regulator is gonna be removed. All right, the other tube that we need to reposition is the pink tube that comes off the top of this solenoid. <coughs> so that needs to be taken off as well. 
that goes into the T that's mounted onto the indicator selector. Okay. This tube, pink tube, now needs to go to the port where the yellow tube was. And you can see that the length of this is much shorter than the tube we had before. So we need to increase the size of the tube. So I've already pre-cut an additional tube. And so that will be mounted or onto the solenoid. How long should it be? Probably about 18 inches. And that will be repositioned to the that port number two on the pressure regulator. Okay, so we basically just switched those two tubes. Now the tube, the yellow tube that was here is going to stay in this position, but instead of being located on the second port of the pressure regulator, it now gets placed where the pink tube was on this T at the bottom of the indicator selector. That completes the repositioning of the tubes, change of the solenoid, all the things that are needed to um, make this device go from normally closed to normally open. Now that we've essentially um, turned a normally closed hydrometer meter into a normally open device. There's a couple of um, settings that we need to talk about. First, looking at this device, we have an indicator selector. There are three positions that this indicator selector can be in. Open, closed, and auto. The auto position is where you want to put this device set to for normal operation via the controller. Besides the indicator selector in the auto position, you also want to put the toggle, which is on the back side of the solenoid, in the nine o'clock position. And so the nine o'clock position is where this needs to be set during normal operation while the indicator selector is in auto. If you ever want to manually turn this valve on, you never want to use the indicator selector. Like most people do, they come to the indicator selector and put it to open. That will uh, bypass the pressure regulator and send line pressure down to your irrigation components. To turn this device on manually, you really want to take this toggle and put it to the 12 o'clock position, which will turn the, the, the hydrometer on, but will, be, be, but will utilize the pressure regulator and will send regulated pressure downstream, preventing any potential uh, problems. Now that we've reviewed the proper settings and the position of uh, some of these uh, dials, on this uh, device, on this hydrometer. Before we leave this, because we've taken tubes off of the device and introduced potentially air back into these lines, um, we need to revent this thing and make sure that we get the air out. The way we do that um, is by putting this indicator selector to open. Again, open is gonna send water downstream um, less pressure regulation bypassing the regulator we're gonna put it to close after a few seconds and uh, let it sit there for a while and then back to open we're gonna do this five or six times not real quick but at a nice steady slow pace and hopefully that will vent all the air out of this vent line you see here at the open position so this is a vent line and you'll see when you're doing this operation water venting out of this line um, that's normal operation we want to continue to go again from open to close watching water come out of here
in a very slow and methodical way. Once that's done, we've gotten all the air out. We can now put this back to auto, the toggle at nine o'clock, and be ready for normal operation via the controller.